Good morning from Tunis, Tunisia. Uh, today we're going to be going on the ultimate food tour of the old town, the Medina, here in Tunis. Uh, we just stopped by this little square here, which is uh, pretty close to our Airbnb. And we found a little uh, street food, uh, or sort of hole-in-the-wall place. I'm not sure what they're serving up, but it looks pretty good, so we're gonna go check that out first. Hi. Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? Bonjour. Oh, looks... Bonjour. 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 What is this called? Oh, I can try. Oh. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, is this uh, the Lab Labby? Okay. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> this man is letting us try some of his <laughs> Lab Labby. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, that's a little bit spicy, a little bit bitter. It's basically like a, a chickpea chickpea stew with bread. Hi. <laughs> oh, very nice. Maybe we will. Uh, can we have one the lab lebi? Lab lebi, yes. Yes, please. Oh, Shukran. Larissa. Sorry. Larissa, oh, harissa, yes, please. Oh, so this is the this is the harissa. Yeah, harissa, oh, oui. Very spicy, huh? Oui, spicy harissa. Very nice. Larissa, du lab lebi, ça. Ah, oui. I can already tell this seems like an amazing place. Uh, the owner and the, the chef is a super friendly guy. And we've just ordered in one lablevi, which is like a chickpea stew. I think there's a bit of spicy harissa um, paste in there. And we also ordered in the oja, which I've heard about before. I think it's some kind of spicy vegetable mix. I'm not really sure, but we'll, <laughs> we'll see when it arrives. Just cutting up some chicken right here. <laughs> And he's got some chilies over there as well. It's gonna be spicy. Ah. Are you excited to try this? Oh yeah, very. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that looks amazing. That other guy was so friendly, who <laughs> was just here. He let us try some of his love levy too. <laughs> and it tasted really good. He's putting a lot of the harris on there. <laughs> and he just scoops that onto there. I think our food's coming. Oh, oh wow. shukran. Thank you. Mixing it up for us. <laughs> I don't think he was quite ready with it. Then. He just wanted to, <laughs> to to show it off a little bit before we before we start eating. <laughs> Have one. Bon appetit. Thank you. It's <laughs> All right. So this is a lapadi, which is basically uh, like a chickpea stew with olives, tuna. Um, some, uh, some bread and it's all just mixed up together with some spicy harissa, uh, some spicy harissa paste which is like a, a chili paste. This looks amazing. It's still, it's smoking hot and you can see some of the, I don't know if you can see that but you can sort of see some of the, some of the chilies from the harissa that's in there. So I think this is going to be spicy. Oh wow. Oh yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> wow, those chickpeas have such a satisfying texture and the, the spiciness in that is just perfect. Uh, and then with the, the saltiness from the olives and a little, uh, little bit of bitterness as well from the tuna. That is a perfect way to start this street food tour of the old city in Tunis. Mmm, that egg as well in there is just perfect. Oh. Oh. You're very good. <laughs> yes, very good. Shukran. <laughs> it's very filling though. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how we're gonna <laughs> how we're gonna survive the rest of the day if all the Tunisian food is this filling. What do you think? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's really a, a, a really heartwarmingly delicious and filling dish. Yeah. This is this alone is worth coming to Tunisia for. Vera just said that maybe the reason the other guy or the guy that was here before gave us some of his uh, some of his lab -lib was because it was so filling he couldn't finish it all himself and I think that's a real possibility actually because this is very very filling. That's your Asia. Asia. Alright, we're gonna try the 
Tunisian Oja now, and uh, to this we were given a basket of bread. Oh, <laughs> shukran. Right, he gave us some forks as well. Uh, I think I'm gonna start though just by dragging my, my piece of bread through this and just picking up as much as possible to sort of make the ultimate one biter. Wow, look at that. That is a thing of beauty. Mmm! Wow! Shukran! <laughs> oh, that's amazing! That chicken has so much caramelization on it. It just really brings out the flavor of, of everything. And then just the, the, the sort of the, the oil in that, the oiliness, the harissa, I think you can taste a little bit of tomato in there as well. And then the freshness from the parsley, that is just perfect. Wow, that is really a stunner. Look at that. <laughs> Vera's really enjoying this one as well. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. I love that he topped this off with some chilies as well. I think these might be pickled. Oh yeah, these are definitely pickled chilies. <laughs> That first big meal that we had, uh, we felt that we had to sort of sit down and just take it easy for a little bit. So we found ourselves at this sort of labyrinth of uh, cafes and restaurants and we just decided to have some uh, Tunisian tea. And as you can see there are, they put some almonds in there and some uh, herbs on the side. I'm not sure what that is, maybe, maybe some mint? It's very sweet, uh, but very, very fragrant. Um, and it's actually, the almonds actually give off a, a little bit of flavor as well to the tea, which is really nice. That is the perfect break between big meals. Voila, voila. Oh, they're making some hats in here. <laughs> oh, Aslema. Aslema, how are you? <laughs> All right, uh, so we just sat down at a restaurant here. Um, this is, we're in kind of a back alley, it feels like, in the central uh, Medina of Tunis, obviously. Um, but like I said, we're not sure where we are, but we found a restaurant that seems to be very popular with the locals here, so we decided to come in and uh, see what they, what they serve up here. It smells really nice in here because just over there they have a grill, which is, which is, uh, which is working at, at full heat. <laughs> um, so we're gonna see what they have here and... Um, yeah. All right, so uh, some of our food just came in. Um, I'm not sure what we ordered. We just asked what was best and then I pointed at the dish they recommended and then something else. So we'll just see what it is. I think I'm gonna start off by trying some of this um, this eggplant sort of mixture here. Uh, I think there might be some tomatoes in here as well. I think I see some chilies. Let's try. Mm. Mm -hmm. I gotta go in for another bite. <laughs> there was too little on that bite, too little food. That is really sort of, it's got that sweetness from the eggplant, a little bit of spiciness from the chili, there's some tomatoes. It's really nice and oily, so it's it's perfect if you want to, uh, it's, it's perfect for dipping bread. <laughs> so we also ordered in what uh, <laughs> seems to be the specialty here, uh, which is the grilled fish. And I mean, just take a look at that. Look at the... At the uh, I don't even know how to. Oh, well. You can just see how that's been that's been grilled at a really, really high heat. So what I'm hoping is that this fish is super smoky, but also really nice and tender inside. And that seems to be the case. Look at how that fish just breaks apart. Oh, you can see the juice is there. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. And there's also some lemon, which I think you're supposed to squeeze on. 
<laughs> oh wow. That is just perfect. That is everything. I hope this will be super smoky. The skin is so crisp and nice and then just the flesh is so moist and juicy. And then together with a little squeeze of lemon, that is just, that is perfect. We're standing in a pretty crowded alley right here um, and there, there seems to be a bit of a rivalry between the two uh, stands here on my left and right uh, because they're both they're both uh, giving me some of their sweets to try and they both want me to, to buy theirs so it's, I feel like they're sort of competing over over us but maybe we'll maybe we'll buy some from both just so that we don't cause any any fight <laughs> all right so there's a guy making them back here How much? Gratis. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, I have to shake your head. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, we're just gonna try some of these sweets that we were that we were very kindly given before. Um, so first, I think this is sort of a small pastry that is uh, made with sesame seeds on the outside and then dates in the middle. And then, as you saw, it's been uh, fried in oil. Yeah. It has sort of a... It's got kind of a crumbly pastry around it. Um, it's really sweet. Uh, it's been dipped in uh, sugar syrup. Uh, and then the, ses the sesame seeds give it a really nice... It really elevates the whole thing. Uh, and then we've got another... Another version of this, I think, with maybe... Maybe either hazelnuts or almonds, I'm not really sure. Mm. That is definitely hazelnuts. <laughs> That's really good, I really like this one. Then we also have the version with just dates. Mm. Yeah, everything is starting to close down around here, even though it's only around 4 p.m. Um, we had a lot to eat today, it's all been amazing. Um, I think our favorite though was the oja that we had this morning at the little restaurant just over there. And so now I think we're just going to head back to our Airbnb where we're just gonna take it easy for the rest of the afternoon and evening. We're not ending this video just yet though. We're gonna to continue tomorrow uh, because we're also gonna have lunch at one of the most popular restaurants here in the, uh, in the Medina, which is called Dar El Jeld. So we'll see you tomorrow. All right, we're on our way now to uh, Dar El Jeld and we're gonna be meeting our friend uh, Yasin and we're gonna be enjoying a uh, a Tunisian feast together. All right, so we just met up with our, our friend uh, Yasin, right? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. and we're gonna go have lunch with uh, his friend, uh -huh. who's also... My roommate. Your roommate, yeah, whose name is also Yasin, right? Yeah. Okay. Double Yasin, right? Double Yasin, <laughs> yeah. Like exactly, yeah. Let's, let's head in. I think... Uh, uh, yeah, let's see. <laughs> Somebody open it. <laughs> Aslema. Uh, four people, is it possible? Okay, perfect. Some small dishes have arrived. Uh, we have some brick here, uh, we have some tagine, we have some uh, harissa, we have some uh, sort of a, like an eggplant mash with olives and eggs. <laughs> Sorry, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> we have some sardines and olive oil. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna dig in, open up some of this, some of this bread here. I'm just gonna. You will need water then. Okay. <laughs> Our friends here, they they warned me. They said I'm, I'm gonna need some water after this one. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> that is really spicy. Yeah. It's a bit smoky also. Yeah, yeah, smoky. Yeah. You can feel it, but it's not in the beginning. Exactly, it comes later on. Wow. 
That's amazing. This is the Tunisian eggplant uh, mixed with tuna and chili. <laughs> that is so good. The sweetness from the eggplant, the saltiness from that tuna, the slight fishiness, the olive oil, the chili, which is also pickled, so it gives a little bit of acidity. That is perfect. That's the perfect way to start this Tunisian feast. Okay, so the, the couscous has arrived here. Some onions, carrots, chickpeas, and then the, the sheep, and then... What is this? this brick, is... another type of brick. Oh, another type of brick, and, yeah, and uh, rice. With rice, and what's inside this one? Ah, oh, that's a fish. Uh, fish. Oh, it's a fish yeah. brick. Okay, Some seafood in here. Yeah, and this one is the, the lamb. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, wow. And what is this? This is also... Meat. It's meat. Also some, maybe some lamb. Huh? You can see just how fine that couscous is too. That just falls coffee. right off the bone. Mm. <laughs> Your food is mm. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that is so good. Maybe, I think there's some, maybe some tomato in the couscous? Yeah, yeah, um, tomato. Uh, yeah. This is, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, so, so there's, yeah, there's some tomatoes in there, which gives it a bit of like lightness and freshness as well. And then the, the popping texture of the chickpeas, together with the, with the lamb that just falls apart and melts in your mouth. Yeah, that is, that is indescribable. Oh, it just falls right off the boat. Perfection on the plate, and then some almonds and sultanas, maybe almonds. Yeah, yeah. Almonds, yeah. <laughs> oh wow, the the sweetness from the sultanas and the almonds. That's really cool. Yeah, and then of course that meat just melts in your mouth. Yeah, so much flavor. And I guess you squeeze the lemon onto here. Yeah. And just straight into it like this. Okay. Opposite. <laughs> it's really done. But it's okay. Oh, it's okay. I'll go here. Oh. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> oh. Yeah. There's egg yolk in there too. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I don't know if you can see that. And so this is the uh, brick with fish. Oh, that is just stuffed mm -hmm. with fish. <laughs> oh yeah, that thing is absolutely stuffed with fish. That is so, so moist and just not dry at all. For my next bite I'll go with some of the eggplant and some of the rice as well. I think that eggplant is smoked. That just brings it to a completely different level. That is amazing. <laughs> right, we just finished our meal at Dar el Jeld and uh, somebody approached us on the street and uh, actually brought us up here. Wow, this is, this is really incredible. We're on a rooftop here and where we can basically see all of, of Tunis. and uh, I think we're going to end this video right now. It's been an amazing two days. It was so nice to meet uh, Yasin and his friend or roommate Yasin. Uh, that was an awesome meal. 
Uh, today we're going to take a luage to Chiron where we're also going to be filming some more street food videos. Uh, so if you like this video, be sure to uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more food and travel content uh, and you're a food and travel lover like I am, then uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel.